Okay guys, we're inside our Hell Divers 2 and it is Sunday, which means that the Hell Divers team at Arrowhead are on their days off and enjoying some time out. So it's your guys' time to shine with a load of concepts that you guys have put into place and some conversations that we definitely need to have and some advice for those of you guys who are struggling with this buff on fire because yes, it's a freaking nightmare. But nonetheless, we're going to dive on into a new Warbond concept that looks absolutely bloody incredible incredible to start with. So with that being said, let's dive on in. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming, the number one platform for all your favorite games for Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Uplay, and indie games on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, all up to 70% off. Now, these games are completely digital and have instant delivery 24-7. They bulk purchase from developers and sell to you guys at a cheaper price, so everybody wins. Wins. Link in the description to get started right now and get your games from Instant Gaming. So with that being said, let's dive on in. To start with, we have got the Major Order. Now the Major Order right now is looking a little bit more positive. We have got a bit more of a run through to say the least. Taking a look at the Galactic War map, we can see right now that we have got Tibet and Maya completely liberated. So we are looking quite safe on this front. Although we only have Dersion left to complete, which is already at nearly 60% liberation with 115,000 of you guys in there. And based on Helldivers.io, we're looking at anything from around 6 to 10 hours full-time completion. And with 22 hours and 40 minutes on the clock at the point of recording, Recording, this seems to be like an easy feat for us. Get inside a Dersion and let's get these automatons off the map for at least for now before we start cycling into the next gradient of the Major Order, which hopefully takes us over towards the Terminid Sectors. But overall right now, positive inputs to the Major Order to say the least. Now moving on though, we have got some cool stuff coming up from the community. This one right here is called the Fleet Support Warbond and this is obviously completely generated by the community this is not a leak or a real thing but it did lead me to start thinking actually some customizations to the fleet ships would be absolutely incredible i think that this is something that the customization can run into that uh it just seems quite a cool notion. I'm not sure it would work quite well as a war bond, but the overall aspect of how this could look when it comes to customization of your own ship, we get to customize the name. Why can't we customize how this thing looks, the color orientations on the inside, the way that things are placed around. And then this leads us into a question which has been playing on my mind for a little while, and this is these monitors right here. Now, for the most part, this is pretty much the only aspect of the game which is relatively useless. We've got a very big monitor that just says Super Earth on it. Four consoles, which unironically, there are four Hell Pods for a player of four. Uh, what the hell are they used for? We've got the obvious bits on the opposite side, which is the main customization of your character. But what have they got in store for these four monitors? For me, I wanted to start a conversation for you guys, and I wanted you to start theory crafting in the comment section as to what this could be used for. I didn't know if this was going to end up being some sort of mini game access or something like that, or maybe this is a console point that we could use for our SES customizations, although that doesn't make much sense considering you would obviously jump on somebody else's SES, and this is not really something that would work too well. So I want to start getting some theory crafting down in the comment section below. This will be used for something. I know Arrowhead and this is not here for no damn reason at all. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Next up though, we have got a very, very, very useful piece inside of Reddit right now with over 7,000 upvotes that is Surviving Fire. Now Fire right now is a absolute nightmare and for those of you guys who are not aware, since we had the buff point on it, the breaker is now becoming uh, quite a useful tool as far as the breaker incendiary and I know a lot of you guys are giving me smack for using it on the automaton side but it works pretty damn well and it's enjoyable that's just how I like to use my weapons I play weapons that I enjoy using but nonetheless fire is becoming a bit of a ball ache right now and they have a very good concept of which you can utilize when it comes to actually running against some of these more nightmare sort of things in the automaton planets if you just stand in fire, you die. If you move quickly, it will start to kill you quite substantially quickly, and then diving will actually take you out. But if you preempt the fire and dive straight through, 
then you can actually see that it causes a very, very good utilization. It takes very little health off of you. And if you start seeing things shooting fire at you, you can dive almost instantaneously and survive it. So when you see the glow, stop, drop and roll. It's pretty damn subsequential inside of this and it works really, really well. The only thing that I have a problem with is once you hit the ground, being able to get up, especially if you're playing on console. I don't know how it feels when you're on PC, but on controller, this thing is a bit of a nightmare to try and have to spam the sprint button to get you back up onto your feet. It causes it for no end of issues. Next up though, something that evidently the community is all in agreement with right now is the mission status. Now, mission failures are something that we take quite heavily and we take to heart as hell divers when we don't manage to complete one all told now this one right here is that it's so vitally important to focus the mission objectives first before going for the hundred percent this is something i solidly believe in and i tend to be a bit of a stealth lone ranger when i'm jumping into parties solely for this objective point alone as you can see in this screenshot they have the optional objectives so all five of them are completed they also managed to have a big point of the outposts that were destroyed all bar one but yet they didn't manage to take out two out of the three main objectives therefore failed the mission what we are all looking at right now is how to pass these missions as quickly as possible what we need to do is primarily focus the main objectives or if you are guys are doing what i'm doing which i am playing on a slightly lower level so that i can definitely complete them which is why you're seeing lower leveled gameplay right now i am focusing the main objectives and then we are completing everything else after that point it makes more sense because at least then if you run out of time you've got the main objectives done you can get to the extraction and leave and that way there's no risk of failing you don't have to have all of the optional objectives completed it just it definitely helps out as an overall i'd rather pass and have some of the optional objectives done than fail and have all of them done that's just my general notive now before we get into the second half of the video we are doing a giveaway for a copy of hell divers 2 and if you've already got the game don't panic we're giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits now it will work quite well for you guys when it comes to the new war bond that is due to come in around four days time really exciting stuff and hopefully you guys will dive on into it but if you want to get involved in the giveaway all you have to do is get down to the description and stick a love heart and a earth emoji a love heart and an earth emoji the colors of the love heart don't matter so get creative with it a love heart and an earth emoji because we do love super earth that's all we're going to do and we're going to dive on in to the second half of the video now there has been a bit of a talk about toxicity right now which is looking really rare and the community has kind of dwindled down to a point of people who actually want to play the game but they are still causing quite a big hit when it does happen there was a reddit post that was posted upon the hell divers 2 reddit post and yes there is a subreddit for hell divers 2 as well as the original hell divers one but this one states toxicity is rare but man it hit hard when it happens now listen to this story first off and let me know what your opinion is because i don't really understand this but just played a 45 minute with a crew who just stayed in one part of the map the whole time while i did every obj on my own and still had heat mind you the most was dead for maybe five minutes before i just respawned him because who wants to watch for that long respawn me again and i'm going to effing kill you why not put that in chat first? Okay, whatever. Keep playing your tower defense game at the south corner of the map, I guess. Then I got to the ICBM and onto its last possible screen. The host died again, saw where I was at and kicked me with no reason. Him and his friends were both level 80s. How do you get that far and still not know how to play the game? or play nice with people if you don't want randoms in your game actually doing obj's instead of whatever battle sim you are playing maybe set it to friends only sucks to waste almost an hour of your time and get nothing from it because some douche canny thinks it's funny i don't really understand this overall mentality and it's not something that we push as a motive i think if you guys want to be doing certain things inside of your games that don't involve the normal obj's and stuff like that then maybe you should be going down to friends only this is why i think that we should have a private listing on there as well so that nobody can join at all because realistically if you just want to do certain things then you should be able to do that but being locked off should be something maybe just don't have it as public don't stick down sos beacons don't open up the game to other people if you don't
don't want that to be the case. Wasting somebody's time for nearly an hour is just beyond toxic as hell and not really necessary. This is a minority and it doesn't happen all too often, but get your stories in the comment section. If you really want to share some stories, we do have a story share section in the Discord of over 10,000 people. So it's really, really simple. Get down there, go and share your stories because realistically, we need to make this community great because hell divers are that way inclined. It's a minority, but it's still there. Now, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for watching. If you got this far, let me know in the comment section that you were here. I'm really intrigued to know who watches these all the way through. Thanks again for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.